Drop the bomb. All the fellows in the house. Three, two, one. And the bass goes boom. <laughs> Mark here from Celtic Crossbows. Got an unboxing for you today. It's for part two of the OP360 Survival Crossbow Conversion Guide. Now for those of you who haven't seen part one, the link will be below. Let me unfit in Danny's excellent new 3D printed trigger. And this is the version 2.1 to your OP360 Mankung Alligator Bear Desire XL Yak Terminator 2. Um, it'll show you on um, how to fit it, how to sand it down, file it, and how to get the thing fitted. It's going to be what I'm looking at to see if we compete against the Steamboat Stinger Survival. Fantastic piece of kit. We're going to unbox it on this over Christmas for you. It's the Royal We, meaning me. Right, so the unboxing we got today is going to be the next part of our little kit. Okay, so we're gonna go over to the table and have a look at the next upgrade we're gonna do with the OP360. And let's see how things... We're over on the table now. We've had our package delivered. It's all the way from Imagination 3D fashion in Romania. So this has been a good delivery distance travel. We just taken our ARK1 knife now. And have a little Look, let's see how it's inside. Nice, nice blade on it, nice side. Here's our invoice. Okay, so bring the camera down a little bit. Here we are. Our ARK1 just slicing through the package with the uh, ease. And here we have what I wanted, if you remember on the 3D competition I was running, I said about a, a a rubber grip for the OP360 look at that beautiful knife which was um, could be used as a tear away for use for starting a fire and this is it this is what I come up with now what I've used Danny of spray and paint of 3D cults this is his design but the, the material I've used is a soft rubber um, polymer which is easily ignitable by fire. The reason being is, I know that this is the only prototype I got, you just cut off a sliver. Look how easy it cuts as well. It's a nice soft material. You just cut off a sliver and use it as a fire starter when you've got nothing else is just, just wet wood around, wet kindling, that sort of thing. And this um uh, pistol grip is designed to be uh, impregnated with a, a, an easily combustible uh, fiery material so you can fe feather stick it and start your fire. Okay, so let's move our steam out of the way. Are we going to bring in our alligator? OP360 to have a look at fitting this grip. So first thing we're going to do is take the screws off. I'm not going to bore you to death with this and we've got to just cut straight over. Okay so just the last screw coming out now and there's are four screws there you know, take this bit off and see it's quite hard to get off and this new one should slide on really easy oh look at that that just absolutely 
shoots on there. Fantastic. It's a better fit than the original one. Great job, Dan. People are watching now. Uh, Daniel's spray paint. This is going to be made primarily of his prints and designs. If people want these done, if they say I'll have a word with Danny and see if I can do them, or you can obviously do them yourself. Just pop over the 3D cults, the link will be below. You will just have to work out your own polymers for easy burn. But uh, this is my third prototype. The other two was too hard, but burned quite easily. Fabulous, there we go. Look at that. It's a really nice soft rubber like feel. This is a rubber like feel as well, but this is designed not to burn. It doesn't burn too easily. This is a, is a nice, you can mark this with your nail. You see it is a really soft squidgy grip. I love it. And it should be in such a way as you can shove your knife in, leave it out, look what you can't do. With this type, you can just take your knife, wedge it in there, if you've got a screwdriver, and you can just lever it out. Yep, so I, I work with the polymers in such a way that you can just take your knife and lever out your grip easily, cut a section off, and use it for feathering to start a fire with. I think this is an excellent idea. Um, and for a survival crossbow, it gives you kindling of a type immediately to hand. Okay, so let's bring it around and give you a closer look at this new grip. It's got a honeycomb texture to give you a uh, feel through your gloves so it grips on. Here we are. Lovely. So this is part two of the 3D upgrading your OP360 into a survival crossbow. The next part I already got here, I'm just waiting for fasteners to arrive. It's another of Daddy's prints as well. Meltness I wait for actually. And this is the Moly stock system for your OP360. I'll try and line it up on you as best you can as you can see it. So this fits with the frame and the chassis. Like so. So that's the outer frame. It's in a high-vis polymer. Designed in high-vis polymer, so if you do drop your crossbow at night, the iridescent illumination will show up of the crossbow. You have the main chassis frame here itself, which will screw in. Like I said, I just waiting for the hot nuts to arrive, which have to be melted into the frame. So I hope you like part two of this video. Um, hit like, subscribe, and consider sharing the hell out of this to get my views up on the channel as the YouTube algorithms pick me up and display me better. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Or as they say in uh, Austria and Germany, thanks and bye bye.